What up guys, back with another video, about to play against France in the quarterfinals. Now just so to let you guys know that eFootball have changed the players around. So there's there's actual players that are actually playing in the World Cup now. They have put them into, into this team. So basically Madison is now here, Rashford is now on here and Wilson is now also in here abraham is not here bowen's not here so so eFootball shifted the teams around so there's going to be some players that you're going to see that were on my first three videos they won't be they probably wouldn't even be in this next next three videos even if if i even make it to the to the to the finals or to the next round but I hope you guys enjoy this. Like, comment, subscribe. On the road to 500 subscribers. See you guys in the next one. Peace. So we're down to the last eight. The competition you sense rapidly Hello, heading towards its Welcome big to climax. A dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage on quarter-final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level towards kickoff time. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. We stand for the national anthem of France. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. England still quite to reach the level they should be at, according to their manager. But he says it is his duty to make that happen. Yeah, a classic case of managers not wanting to get ahead of themselves and to keep their players in, in the present, to stop them from thinking too far ahead too. What's directly in front of you is far more important. They can't let that focus wander. We have already started here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, Peter, this fella, Upamecano, is remarkably forward-thinking for a centre-back. I really like the way he's, he's proactive in, in everything he does, often stepping out of that defensive line and pressing people much further up the pitch. It's risky business, but he can handle it. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Benzema. Benzema puts his foot on the gas. Mbappe with the short one. Promising cross. Brilliantly cut out. England can start a counter here. Gallagher. 
Solid defending, refused to be outmuscled. Well, Madison is the guilty party there. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He is through here. Has a goal! Goal, England! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. Number 25, James Madison. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Oh, he's just loving that. Certainly gives you a very unique feeling. Tremendous. It's a pretty loose pass. Poor pass that, sloppy. Kane is offering an apologetic gesture of sorts. Clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. Now it's Mbappe. Alexander Arnold. Gallagher, nice little ball through, Saka gets into some space, climbs up big! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, this is simple, the supply is to be admired, the defending is to be admonished. Griezmann. England are looking lively here. They're playing with more zest, more purpose. They are, and it's all because of the movement we're seeing down the flanks, and I think they look as if they're going to cause some real problems to that opposing defence. Both flanks are working quite well now. He's shifting through the gears here. Some terrific running on the ball. Havar. Now it's Benzema. He's found a way through. He's got away. And it's Rashford. Look at the space here. Kane! He's done very well to get to that. That'll earn him a few high fives. Probably feels he could have been better protected, though. Kane bustling and very visible inside the box. Yeah, it's only natural if you consider what a, a great header of the ball he is. England with another corner. It's their second corner of the game. And now they can spring out of defence. Clears it out of harm's way. Fiddles it through. And the danger is cut out. Two added minutes has been indicated. Gallagher. Now it's Saka. Nice bit of skill, and he's away. Oh, it's come loose. 
Alexander on. The referee's awarded a free kick. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Well, he's asking for trouble, Peter. And with this urge to, to nibble away, I think the ref is spelling it out for him now. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game. Everyone, please welcome our players. Substitution for England. Number 18. And that's the start of... Madison. Here's Shaw. And it's Shaw. Jordan Henderson. Here's Madison. Gallagher out to the right. Oh, that was expansive and incisive. The type of move to please any coach. Crossed into... In with a header! It's there! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Well, when it's pieced together as efficiently as that, it's a, a joy to watch. The goal scorer. 51 minutes is number nine, Harry Kane! So that's two now without reply. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Chouameni... It's a pretty loose pass. Madison. And it's Henderson. For sure. Rashford. Gets away from his opponent. Nice control. It's Kane! And that is one way to get his defending done. Number 26, number 11, Marcus Rashford, coming on the field, number 22, number 20. He's found a way through, Bill shapes Bowen. the shoot, could fall kindly, they are rampant. Loris did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. After 74 minutes is... number 17... Bukayo Sekou! Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Foden. And the shot's on here. He shifts. And the shot! They've done it! Players ecstatic. Fans delirious. This is utopian.
And that really is so, so impressive. Yeah, and having the thrust to get there is one thing, having the composure to score is another. After 76 minutes is number nine, Harry Kane! Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Oh, lovely bit of skill. Some resolute defending there. Oh, good spread. So not long left in this now. Now just moments away from a semi-final place. France couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Looking for the runner. He can run onto that. Massive leap! How many, just how many? The golf in class is vast. It's a mass exodus now. Certain sections of the stadium are leaving in droves, and you can't blame them. And with that, the hat-trick is complete. This is frightening football. Nine. He has increased defensive fear on the way to that hat-trick. England tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. And that's a throw in. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. Done delicately. Couldn't quite squeeze that one through. Foden. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. Danger averted for now. What a throw in. And it's Dembele. And they've got a throw. Madison. Added minutes has been indicated. Into a minimum of four minutes additional time. Threads one in. Kane. Henderson. It's run loose. Who's going to get there? In by Chipia. Keeper has taken decisive action. Kamavinga. And that will be the final act. So now do you believe? You have to. Just two more steps to glory. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? England really deserve a lot of credit for what I'm sure would be a real confidence-boosting win. Such a, such a huge game being played. There were so many factors that would have got the doubters going, but I guess they'll all go a little quiet now.